Assalamu alaikum students, how are you? Uh, another day I wanted to uh, upload a series of videos on sequential theory of decentralization but I couldn't do so uh, because of uh, weak internet connection. But I, uh, I was able to upload at least two, two videos on this topic. So uh, this article um, uh, about sequential theory of decentralization was written by Professor Tolia uh, from University of Pennsylvania. So this is a really nice um, uh, article written on this uh, uh, new, sequ new theory, uh, sequential theory. And she explained how uh, this theory can be applied. So, um, as I earlier uh, told you that uh, she actually uh, derived three different processes uh, through which you can apply this theory. Um, these three characteristics are, the first one is it defines decentralization as a process. So, uh, what I want you guys to do is to, you know, whenever you uh, try to understand any theory, just look at uh, the current situation in, in Pakistan and just compare that um, uh, situation and uh, try to apply this theory or any, any other process on, on this situation. So, <clears throat> the first characteristic is define uh, decentralization as a process and then the second one is uh, uh, it takes a, into account that territorial interest of bargaining actors and then it incorporates policy feedback effects. So if you go um, in detail, just go down and uh, look at these three uh, phases or these three characteristics. The first one is uh, decentralization as a process. Um, she explains uh, these processes in, uh, in three stages or three different dimensions. The first one is administrative decentralization. Uh, that is a set of policies that transfer the administration and delivery of social services such as education, health, social welfare, housing. So, uh, if you look at the 18th amendment after that 18th amendment, uh, most of uh, such um, uh, administrative uh, duties or maybe resources or uh, authorities are transferred to the provinces, provincial governments. So, if you if you uh, compare this, uh, if you apply this theory onto uh, on on Pakistani uh, constitution or situation, you can easily understand how it works. The second one is uh, the fiscal decentralization uh, in this process, and that is. Uh, the set of policies designed to increase the revenues or fiscal autonomy of subnational governments. Subnational government mean the provincial governments. So uh, they actually try to derive some some kind of uh, revenue generation uh, uh, techniques or some kind of you know they, they can increase the taxes or they can introduce some new kind of uh, revenue generation processes or techniques to increase the revenue of uh, provincial government and as you know the, the some, some part of provincial revenue goes to the federal as well, as well. And the third one is political decentralization that is uh, actually the set of constitutional amendments. So they actually derive uh, some kind of uh, uh, laws or some kind of constitutional um, uh, backups to, to give support. Uh, to the provincial governments in, in, in response to the administrative and then fiscal decentralization processes. Okay. Okay. The second one is territorial interests of bargaining actors. So, uh, like you know this government, PTI's government when, when they came into power or even before coming into power they promise, they promise that they will uh, create new provinces in, in Punjab, like they will split Punjab into two or three uh, provinces and uh, uh, that is actually they, they try to cash their uh, territorial interest. So, so they uh, invited different political powers in that regions and definitely some of them joined them 
join PTI just to get this benefit. And um, uh, as you know, th there were so many uh, political agents who uh, joined PTI just before the elections. And they were uh, previously, they were working for some other political parties. But um, after these promises, they came to PTI, they joined PTI. And um, again, you know, if, if you look at the current situation, how sin government, because all three or four other provinces like um, uh, PTI has power, uh, is ruling in Balochistan, Punjab and KP. But if you look at SIN, GB and uh, AK assemblies, they are run by other political powers. Uh, like Sindh is uh, ruled by People's Party and uh, GB and AK governments are ruled by uh, PMLN. So um, in, in, in current situation of this pandemic uh, issue, uh, Sindh government is uh, opposing federal government. The federal government is trying to uh, demonize Sindh government's uh, provincial, uh, you know, provincial, um, uh, their, the provincial uh, acts they are doing, they are uh, actually, they are doing some lockdown, they are in favor of uh, strict lockdown, but uh, federal government is, not, uh, is, is introducing the soft lockdown. Um, so, th th these all territorial uh, interests work and um, uh, they, uh, the political parties, they try to bargain with these uh, territorial agents, with these territorial political powers to, to gain more uh, political power. So, this is uh, the second phase. If you look at um, uh, this uh, article, uh, Professor Tolia gave example of uh, four different countries in South America. Uh, those countries are uh, uh, Brazil, uh, Mexico, Argentina and uh, Colombia, I think, yes. So, she has collected data from these countries and she has uh, given examples of those countries. But I want you guys to uh, keep uh, Pakistan in your mind whenever you, you read this article and uh, you will understand easily. Okay, the third time, third uh, phase is um, If you go back uh, in the okay, so third phase is in it incorporates policy feedback effects. So uh, just go through this article and um, compare this with with the Pakistani current situation, and you will easily understand. She has given a lot of uh, examples from South America and um, she has uh, produced so many tables in this article. So just go through and um, try to write a response to this article and uh, look at how uh, she has collected data and how she has analyzed the data and then she came up to this uh, sequential theory of decentralization and in the in the second half of this article she explained how this sequential theory of decentralization can be applied so just uh, just read read through this article and uh, as you know, we are not giving any uh, assignments right now, but uh, at least you should write something in response to this article. I'm not, I'm not giving you uh, any uh, assignment, but um, just to understand, you should write something in response to this article, okay? So, uh, I hope this video will go online and uh, you will uh, give me some feedback as well. And uh, if you have any question regarding this uh, sequential theory, 
you can uh, contact me uh, as you know uh, my email address and at the same time I'm, I'm uploading these videos on Google Classroom and I'm uploading these uh, videos on uh, YouTube channel as well so wherever you can approach I know some of you guys are still uh, in remote areas where uh, there's a weak internet connection uh, like you know we are in Ralpindi Islamabad and we are having this trouble here that we cannot upload longer videos on uh, Google Classroom or uh, YouTube channel and uh, so uh, I understand how you guys are doing uh, how you guys are facing these kind of issues uh, while living in remote areas so just stay tuned and uh, uh, just uh, keep in touch and if you have any kind of uh, you know issues related to accessing internet related to accessing your google classroom uh, sections uh, just send me an email or you can approach me uh, by youtube as well uh, uh, most of you guys are uh, in my friend list and uh, on facebook as well and uh, some of you guys are uh, in contact with me through whatsapp so whatever you feel easy for you guys you can you can just contact me and um, share me uh, your issues your problems and i will try to solve them um, so um, i will i will keep uploading the stuff whenever i will uh, be able to do so so keep in touch and um, stay safe stay at homes and uh, just pray that we we can get rid of this uh, pandemic situation as soon as possible so that we can resume our uh, normal life again and uh, my best wishes for your success for your health for your families and uh, keep in touch thank you Allah Hafiz